Hey, yeah. James, good evening, mate. Nice eh? Take my shoes off here, mate, yeah? Yeah, yeah. that'll be great. Am I the first to arrive? Yeah, you're first here. Um, do you want a drink or not? Yeah, go on, I'll have it. Uh, Lucas here, please. I'm glad you went fancy dress as well. <laughs> oh, it's a bit cold, isn't it? <laughs> Very nice. Must be paying, paying Jim a bit too much. Oh. Hey, mate! What are you wearing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew you'd be on the pop up scarf, so I went to the same. Looking well, son, looking well. Oh, come on, then. Freezy's already here. Shoes off? Yeah, definitely. Flipping heck. I don't spend money on a carpet for you. Oh, yeah. I'm absolutely so, starving. Yeah. You'd be, you'd be pleasantly surprised. What were we eating? Pass the bait for a change. Oh, brilliant. Did you not get the menu? No, I've not got the menu. Send it yet. to you. Evening. Nice to you later, right? Okay. How you doing, son? I like it. Nice to meet you. Do you want a drink? Love a drink, mate. Uh, then I'll be ready in about 10 minutes. Great. These aren't pretty, but they taste good. Do you want to know why I know that? Because I had them last night. <laughs> Nice, sir. Cheers, mate. Thank Enjoy. You. Did, uh, did you make the sauce yourself? Yeah. Oh, God, so. It's an old family recipe. Come with you. Yeah, just. Enjoy it. Just put that side on. So you can see your food. They're good, guys. They're good. I'm going to go in and say grace. Grace. Right. There you go. I'm going to say grace. Jill has been brought up properly. Yeah. Mm. Did you just get these delivered? No. Nope. Made them myself. Love these. Mmm. Nice one, that. Very nice, then. San Carlos, Bethel. Mmm. I thought Con Dime would be this one. These are great. Mmm. Just, you just went with a crow, crow please, don't you? you know what I mean? You took no risks whatsoever, you just went for a crow please, you know what I mean? Sticky rubs. No matter yeah. about. Mmm. Are these meant to be pink in the middle as well? Mm. <laughs> if you don't wake up in the morning. So who's that? Is that a famous, famous boxer? Is that your uncle? My uncle Mohammed. Yeah, that's just my wife, babe. Yeah. I don't know these people, but... Alright. Yeah. Is that there? Is that John Lemon? <laughs> Is that what he's called, John Lemon? <laughs> I weren't fat, not at all, like they're too sickly for me. To be fair, the, the, only, the only reason why I had every bit of it was just because oh, I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Oh, they they but, tasted cheap, they actually yeah. tasted cheap, like as if you just I microwaved just them. If, if I'm not sitting on the toilet the first thing tomorrow morning, I'll, I'll just be fine. Be careful. Just, oh, here just, we go. We'll just say, like, toilet. We'll just say how nice it was, mate. <laughs> <laughs> There's a special. It. Dig in guys, dig in. Lovely. Watch that's very hot. What is the plate? Oh, hold on. I'll just give you a plate. Do you want a corner bit? Jim, is it meant to be blood in the bottom of here? Is that blood? Looks alright. Be... Is there any garlic bread? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's fine, it's fine, mate. No, we'll be alright. There's enough for us, there's enough for you. You can take a, you can take a mark off me. Oh. Judged on the food that is here, not the food that maybe, maybe could have made it better. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> do you want a beer? Didn't they always do that? Cheers, school. Cheers. We drink Lucasay. Athletes. Athletes. Cheers. <laughs> Here's to a great evening. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make me here? <laughs> no 
most important thing when you come to gym sessions oh. as well. Candles. Unbelievable. It's as good as, good as it always is, Jim. Is it? Yeah, thanks. As good as it always is. Please don't set my house on fire. Mm. That's a nice touch, that as well. Yeah. Candles, yeah. I, mean, I should have done that earlier, but. Don't you usually do garlic bread with it? Mate, I'm injured, right? <laughs> I never sat down at 5 o'clock. Why are you doing? He's always at the shops. He's had no payments money for a month. Yeah, I'm skint, man. <laughs> this house. You made a brush. Did you bring wine? Did you bring anything? Because he brought toilet paper. You didn't forget to put the heat in my mouth. He didn't, he didn't bring toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I asked him to bring was toilet paper and he forgot it. Yeah, you're right, mate. Okay, guys. I'll go to the shop for you. Nah, it's alright. I'll just nip it. Nah. <laughs> 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 oh, I forgot that, yeah. I've given it all out, a bit of garlic bread. I've been in I'm rehab. Just saying, constructive criticism. Yeah, but I've been in Some rehab. Point. I've been in rehab. Yeah, we know that. Till half three. In the gym, half three. Do you know what I mean? Last minute. Last minute dinner. I've seen a good picture of you guys today, actually. Mm. I've seen a good picture. Mm. Posing. Yeah. I love posing. Oh, I'm oh. just looking at something in the distance. Really intently. Yeah. Separate things. Right. It's one of those natural things. Mm. Have you ever watched that uh, Barnsley player? Like, no, mate, that's like... cringe, man. See the things that go in there? Oh, mate. That is cringe. It's not for me. And they sort of like do little acting. They show like bits about the players and <coughs> interviews. Interviews what and the highlights. Is, what, and what's, stuff. Up, what's up with him putting that Irish accent on as well? Oh, what, he's, not even, he's not even Irish. The fat one. <laughs> he's not even Irish. Jeez, his face is thin. It's like he's pregnant. Is that no. Don't even get me started on the hobo one. Oh. <laughs> he is a proper hobo. Slow. Slippin'. Somebody give him a decent hairdresser's number, what? <laughs> hairdresser's an addiction, oh. he is stupid. Oh. You haven't been on Twitter for about five minutes, very <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I've actually, I've actually moved there. <laughs> That's actually not his hand, his hand's under the table. That's a fake arm. It's <laughs> <laughs> just a hologram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want uh, diluting? Don't go where? Diluting? Oh yeah, go on then, please. Anything I'll do. Don't as long as it taste, takes the taste away, I'll be fine, mate. Yeah, thank you. It was well received. Yeah, lads are digging in, so they know what to expect, though. This is just a regular Thursday night here at my house, so, yeah, it's alright. Jim, is it meant to be blood at the bottom of it? <laughs> Jim, you're the one He's only got the heat on full blast, so he's got the electricity wired up in the next door's house, you know. He doesn't pay a thing for it. I don't know. No, it's too hot. Isn't it? It's too hot. For a meal. Have some more. Honestly, I'm literally, literally couldn't have a, another piece of pasta. What? <sighs> Alright? So. Mmm, nice of you. Mm. <laughs> I'll eat another thing, mate. I'll see. Cheers, guys. Cheers. I'll save it going in the dishwasher now, Jim. Um, we've got a dishwasher. Thanks for that. <coughs> Nobody no no thinks somebody See, likes you. Like Nobody thinks somebody's a good friend and they really like you, but then make absolutely no effort whatsoever. Uh, they, they get the ribs out of the box, you get set out of the jar. And what's that? But he's had all the day to prepare. That sort of annoys me. Very pleased actually how it went. We'll see now, like, I'll, when I watch it back, I'll see what they really thought, but yeah, they, were, they were quite kind to be honest. Because they're good lads, like, they went. They're a bit bitchy, but they're good lads. Sit behind my back, do you know what I mean? Save my... Save my feelings, so... I'd eat that if I was like, quickly going out, or I'd expect that as a student or something like that. Yeah, not, you know, know what? You've hit the nail on the head. Student food. Shoot, exactly. Do we look like students? Seriously, have that been sitting there all day? I'm not being funny, but I've eaten it to be polite, but, but I'm not saying, it's, it's like plain, it's like, it's like no, no like taste, it's like it's just like 95p past or something like that.
To be fair, before you know, I had a little laugh. I was, I was joking about you no, know, it's, oh, it's this is rubbish and that. But I'm deadly serious now. Yeah, I know. You didn't eat like that, didn't you? Couldn't, literally couldn't. It was, uh, yeah. The thing is, he goes on as if he's a great chef, that's all. He goes on as if he's a great player, and a great chef. I know. I just hope I yeah, don't pick up that flipping guitar. No. Not again. Ricky Gervais. Oasis. Uh, again. Basically, We've seen it on YouTube, Jim. They show us all the time. Does he keep sending you them links on, on Twitter as well? That's for YouTube, this nice. bit. Yeah. I used to think he was decent at first, but once you've heard what the same song a million times. Yeah, you? exactly. He plays the guitar like he's cooking. Do you know what I mean? Like just the same thing you can about. Yeah, at the beginning it's alright, you can stand it, but it's plain, it's dull, do you know what I mean? It's a little bit like us on Saturday. You, you know me, mate, I want to stand for me, Jockwoody. And if it was my missus, I'd have threw that back in his face. I know. Let's see what desserts they like. Yeah. Well, he's, got he's, got, he's still got time to redeem himself, you know? Mm. And there's the, the big test cup as well, he's going to make us a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah. No, I can so if his tea's alright then... I can't do what's it's it's I'm tempted to leave now. If I was at a restaurant, I wouldn't be leaving the tip. What? Spot on. How does it help me? Yeah, go on, mate. Yeah, yeah go on. on. Steel is the best there, to be fair. Pump the arm. He knows I've stole his idea, but the end definitely has the best of us. He introduced me to this. When he opened up his heart and his house to me, um, when I first signed, I moved in with him. Uh, he let me move. Always saying you're welcome. I'm not going to lie. But I do keep him there, so. So, always forgiven. So, yeah. Right. Magic shake. And there, and away she goes. Mmm. Lovely. And just still looks easy as this, look. Boom, straight in there. That's how easy it is. And you made the muffins yourself? Yeah, baked them, baked them this morning. Um, I was actually late this morning because I had to make dessert for the lads coming. But, you know what I mean? Priorities, get your priorities right. Basically, in a nutshell, it's a muffin with a bit of custard. He's got all those marks for stealing recipes as well. Any good? Brilliant, perfect. Can you remember that restaurant we went to in Mayfair? The, uh, what was that place called? You were there. We had Brian Adams on the next table and the food we had in there. You know the food we had in there? Yeah. This is nothing like it. <laughs> what was the name of that? Tortellinis or something? <sighs> I'll keep it simple because Jim kept it simple. He's, uh, he started was out of a packet. It tasted alright, like, you know, but it was out of a packet. Wasn't even Marks and Spencer's either, which was disappointing as well. The starter was, it was okay, it was sickly, like the sauce was a bit sickly and it just felt like it was a bit cheap. It felt like the ribs were, uh, you know, cheaply brought and they'd been microwaved to be honest. And I don't really, I'm not a massive fan of ribs unless it's in a nice Italian restaurant and I just think that, although I did eat it all, I, I weren't massively impressed. The main was nice, you know, I, I ate it all. And obviously I went back for more, but that's because I was really hungry. I thought that it, it was nice. It was it was simple and, you know, he's gone for an easy option with, like, chicken and pasta and obviously a bit of cheese. But again, I think I think he could have done probably a bit more, you know, maybe chopped some onions or some peppers and stuff in it. But again, I, I did eat it. I did, I did quite enjoy that. Main course, is, it does the same thing every time we come round. We come round all the time, it does exactly the same thing. Took some load of pasta in a big bowl. Pour something, a jar or something over the top, and then sticks another for 20 minutes. That's not, that's not cooking, you know what I mean? A monkey can do that. Yeah, and even for the dessert, he's stolen Steely's idea. That's, that's Steely's pride. He'll have hurt Steely doing that. Steely will be wounded because that's Steely, it's Steely special. 
a muffin with custard on top. And if you kind of come up with your own ideas, there's a million and one, you could have gotten some ice cream, some fruit, or something like that, mm -hmm. something healthy. We still don't steal his idea, and he's, they could fall out of this, there could be repercussions. Dessert was, again, simple, but effective. You know, he had the muffin, a good, good choice of muffin. It weren't a cheap muffin. You could tell it weren't just a normal, like, crappy 99p box set. It was like a decent, solid muffin with chocolate chip bits in it, with custard, and I really enjoyed it. I think the highlight was the pudding. I just, I ate, you could see how quick I ate it, and, you know, after a, a, a mediocre, like, starter and main course he finished it off well so he saved himself with the with the dessert for me. <sighs> Jim's a live wire isn't he? The day he signed it I got a text from his cousin I used to play with his cousin Aberdeen and I won't say exactly what it said because it's not for the not for kids ears but uh, he said he was busy you know be careful because he just he'll annoy you but he's not like that. Jim's not like that. You want to know? He's just uh, he's just a friendly guy. And he's just a bit busy, like you know. But everyone, everyone loves Jim. Everybody loves Jim. Yeah, Steele is a great lad. Um, he's one of my best friends. He's <sighs> helped me through some tough times, and you know, I really enjoy his company. And you know, sometimes I just drop drop round um, his house unannounced. But it's that's the way that's the way we are together. That's how close we are. So we can just. Um, just drop in each other's houses unannounced. He doesn't come here a lot, to be fair. But um, no, I'm always driving the leads to pop into him and, and, and see how he's doing and getting on. And, you know, sometimes I, I think I come on a little bit strong, but he's a good friend, very good friend. What do I think of him? I like him, but he's always coming round to my house. I always wants to come round, always wants to have dinner. I can't hack it anymore. He's just relentless. He's, he's, I think he thinks I'm his best mate and he's, I haven't got the heart to tell him but he always wants to do stuff and come round and pff, I haven't got the energy for it. I mean, he, he's always inviting me around for dinner and like, I'm running out of excuses, you know? But take the other day, he just dropped in. He dropped into my house without me even inviting him. He just sort of like comes around on his own. I swear he knows the code to the building. He knew, knows, and he's there at my front door. So I don't know how I'm going to get rid of him, but he's, he's, I'm struggling at the moment. Well, I'm going to give him what I normally do on a Saturday. He's worked really hard today, but he's been very little in the way of quality. Five for Jim. If we were marking it on hospitality, mate, I'd give you a nine, but we're marking it on food. I ate it, so that's a bonus. Six. Oh, Steely passes the soap, please, mate. Whoa! That's not the soap, mate. I know it's not, son. 